it's a frightening experience when a really big animal comes to you because you know that that animal can inflict damage in a serious, quick way. The last aspect of courage is that courage is contagious. It really is. And, and equally, fear is contagious. So if I see anybody in the team who, who looks frightened, it just ripples through me. Minus 1.7 into minus 27. Waves were crashing up against the side of the boat and then turning into slush mid-air. It's a very, very, it's a high consequence environment. And I wasn't switched on and it literally, it turned and it latched onto my lip here and it, the cut, I mean, I was lucky that it didn't get my eye. When they started this beach cleanup a, a few years ago, the plastic pollution was literally up to the shoulders. I'll never ever forget entering that tunnel because the colors were just so amazing. It was this beautiful light, light blue. And as you go further down a the tunnel, then it becomes a dark blue and then a violet and then an indigo. And then it went completely black. If I don't swim in the waters of Cape Town on a regular basis and get in there early in the morning, and you know there is a risk, small as it may be, that a great white shark is going to come up next to you. I can assure you that if you're not doing that on a daily basis or swimming in really, really rough conditions, where you're right on the edge of safety, when you get down to Antarctica, you just won't have what it takes.